This is the Ballinger swivel knife. The Ballinger swivel knife is characterized by a revolving knife at its very edge. The inner edge of which is the sharp knife. Now this is held and after making the initial incision which is a Killian's incision a few millimeters behind the Ballinger swivel knife is inserted here after making that cut. This cut is done using a medicine bomb scissors and after making that cut the Ballinger swivel knife is introduced and advanced along the parallel to the dorsum of the nose until it impinges on the anterior edge of the perpendicular plate pulled down and then pulled out thereby resecting the quadrilateral deflected septal cartilage. By doing so, we retain what is called a dorsal strut and a caudal strut. By retaining a dorsal and caudal strut, the external architecture of the nose is conserved. If we do not do that and if the dorsal strut which is retained is removed by advancing the knife in a vertical direction, then it will lead to dorsal saddling. When this depression happens, it looks like the saddle of a horse and that is called dorsal saddling. If the columella strut is not retained, the columella can recede inwards and this is called columella recession. And when both are present, the nose looks like the beak of a parrot and thereby it is called a polybeak deformity. It's called a polybeak deformity. Polybeak deformity happens when there is dorsal saddling and columella recession.